Okay, now let's get to this. What day is it? Uh, Tuesday, that's it. I went to, um, got this the other day. Hold on, I'll just move some of the junk out of the way so I can sort this out. Oh, I'll get to it. Now, I got this just the other day. It's a really long, I don't know, it's probably six, seven, eight meters or whatever it is. I don't know, I haven't checked it out yet. It's a samurai, this really cool samurai flag thing. Cotton, real deal, old school. These are getting expensive. And I went up there to find a nice, clean spot. There's a dance studio up there where they do ballroom dance. It's awesome. Um, and But the thing is, it's Tuesday. And on Tuesdays, they, uh, they practice and stuff. So I'll have to wait. Uh, I'd really like to show that because it's cool. And a friend of mine the other day, he saw me uh, the other day. When was that? What day is it? Tuesday the... Yesterday, in the morning. <laughs> right. Um, and this friend of mine saw, noticed that I bought that. And he's like, oh, oh, come and see me on Sunday. And uh, I've got a few of those, and you know, if you like them. I'm like, well, I don't know, I'll come and check them out. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, okay, so that's just a heads up right there. Oh, another heads up. Uh, to my Antipodian compatriot. Um, Antipodian, eh? is it a fancy word or what? It was made in the traditional ways. Um... So no nails or anything. And so I was able to dismantle it. So that will be a sea freight deal. Um, I did put a couple of little pencil marks here and there. So that you can sort of match them up, line them up and knock it all back together. Um, I would use a plastic camera. I reckon you'll figure it out. Anyways, so that's that. Uh, let's see, costings wise. Now I think I... The uh, for the quote was for for uh, sale economy it was what forty nine fifty bucks I think it was or something like that. This would be thirty bucks. So uh, it is yeah. Sometimes when I send things to Australia, it takes like uh, uh say around sometimes six weeks, sometimes eight weeks, you know. But during considering it's the um, the silly season. Uh, Christmas time and all that, uh, yeah, that I even overheard something at the post office this morning, um, but, you know, so who knows, it might take longer, but they say, uh, it's like a six weeks to three month deal, um, for sea freight, they just say that flat, so to be conservative right there sort of thing, that's that, what else am I thinking, uh, the Tyco, um, the Eagle has flown, and for my Canadian compatriots, I'm not a compatriot of Canada, but I like the Canucks. Um, the Buer, uh, the Eagle has flown this very morning, so so that's that. Um, a chap in the a Hollander in the Netherlands, they call it Hollander here. Um, yeah, um, as soon as uh, that payment comes through, I'll you know. You said you need a few days for that, what, what have you, so um, I'll sort that out when you're good to go with that. Um, right, so that's pretty much up with with everything that's happening with you guys. Okay, uh, now, uh, this bell. Awesome! Okay, now I actually, um, see, I didn't even know I actually owned it yet, um, because... You, if you check out one of my recent videos, I found this bell um, at the same auction house, and I carried that. <laughs> I only went down there on a walkie poos, just a reconnaissance mission, and turns out this was there. And so I asked a friend of mine, I said, oh, hey, can you grab that? I'll, I'll go up to this amount, and I'll give you an extra 50 bucks, you know, go send in, fight that in to, you know, to put your hand up to, uh, to do the job. And, uh... Um, it turns out, I didn't even know he got it or not, and uh, a few days later I saw him, and uh, so he's like, um, which was yesterday, yesterday morning, and he said, um, oh, I've got that, you know, blah, blah, bloody blahs, all the bloody blahs, and anyways, um, 
I said to him, oh, you know, after all the deal was done, I said, oh, yeah, you know, here's that 50 bucks extra to, you know, for the job. He goes, no, nah, don't worry about it. He you know, he said, all I had to do is put my hand up. And, you know, <laughs> it's not worth 50 bucks. You know, it's not. Anyways, I'm battling because I've got some other cool stuff down there. Okay. Um, right. I'm, I'm back on that, uh. I'm back on that heavy coffee. I've only had five coffees to keep me awake. Man, I was working till one o'clock in the morning last night. Straight up again. Back to it. That's what I'm going to do. If I'm going to stay in Japan for this winter, I'm just going to work my ass off every day instead of hibernating as I generally do near those things. Thingies. Okay, now, let's get on to this. I did not know that um, I actually just picked this up today. Um, and I found that I didn't know that this one had a striker. Now this one here I have included for this particular piece and turns out that in the box he put it in a box and all my mate I noticed in the box huh? oh, lo and behold lo and behold this now this is a quite a unique generally um, a striker for bells you find that this kind of design um, and so I generally try to keep them, you know, get a newer one that's a new one there to, uh, you know, to keep in that form of tradition. But this one here is a unique design. And you see how it does that sort of thingy there? And I find what's unique about this, this very bell, up here, is a hole, generally as they break off the cast, like here, right, and here, um... It's got a hole, concentric hole, that goes, pretty much concentric hole, that goes down through here. Now, I'm guessing that this particular maker, I'll get that to in a second, um, in likelihood had a, a shaft go through there, and, a, you know, a threaded system or something, or maybe probably old school style, a shaft through, and then a hole, and then another piece through that, you know, to support it instead of, yeah, it wouldn't have been a thread, would it? Would have been old school style. So like, what, what do you call them? The thingy and the thingy and the, the thingy like that. I don't know. What's the terms with wood when you're a dovetail -y, so Whatever's. So it's very unique to have that. That. And I found that that same as sort of that. And I found this here. Uh, this is a maker's mark. All right. And that would be the company, really. And that's to uh, Kyoto. So this is from Kyoto, and Kyoto being a place where they have uh, amazing antiques. Now, here means maker, and this is the actual maker's name, the, the guy that made it. Um, and what they do here, as you can see, that sort of... Um, you can see the side of it. Um, this is placed on afterwards through heat, uh, heat welding. And if this maker is going to put his name on something like this, that means it's it passed muster and it's, it's you know, they're very proud of their work. Um, and it seems it might have, it might have had kanji script in here at some stage. It kind of looks like more. There, yeah, I can't tell. Ages, age has uh, taken it, taken that away. You find that all this, all the patina is amazing inside here. I didn't really get some good shots because I've got a light up there, and it basically gives a half moon kind of thing. But the patina is just gorgeous. So it's had some serious aging. And I'll just straighten that up a bit there, and you'll find a lot of these streaks and everything. This is all just. Just age lines there like this. That's all just age stuff. I mean, you don't want to clean that up. You don't want to clean it. You want to have it ridgy didge, as they say in the original. No cracks. Gorgeous, gorgeous sound. Check that out. This is a good piece. Beautiful sound. Oh, yeah. Oh. Now I found that um, the this light striker I got for that particular bell 
I mean, it's sort of a bit too light, and I found it's probably better off with this, you know. And uh, as a heavier strike, I found I got a, the best from it. And you could get that, what I was trying to explain about this, woo, this spooky kind of... spooky kind of sound that it can make. Sort of goes, ooh, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm not going near that anymore. <laughs> um, no, that's great. That's really great. And I find if you can't afford this, I'd get this. Because that is worth. Anyways, let's get on to this beautiful piece, and you'll find uh, one of the striking points. You see this striking point here, almost as if it came out of like brandy new, you know, out of the casting. You see how just slightly there. Now, I know from experience that this side, you see how warm this is. This side here would have been the side that was closest to the sliding door of the temple. Because being a secondary bell, slide open the door, turn to the right, boom, and strike that. Um, what I'm going to do, because I considered that this piece here, would, because it's slightly heavier and would be better for that, I'm not going to do that because um, this came with this bell. and should remain with this bell although I've been kind of getting really I would say slightly better strikes with that heavier I'm actually using the corn if you use the flat you won't get a proper strike um, and uh, with the chamfer with this I have to keep this camera away because it's the mic sucks and it goes all mental Beautiful reverberation. Oh, it's a distract. Just using that, trying to use that shape. You just get it just where you want it. And you get a delightful. I mean, I've only been doing it for a minute or so. You have it for a while, you'll get it. Okay, I'm going to put it up cheap to start, to give people a chance. I'll have to get 800 for it or else I'll lose money, um, you know, after fees and everything. Now I'm thinking send it via sell, I should get at least a thousand for it. I'm thinking of sending it via sell economy air, it could go via C, I could figure out how to put some protectors around it, um, a wooden crate kind of, but you, I mean, silly season and all that being Christmas, you'll, you know, take like three months, it's six weeks to three months, so which is sea freight, so I don't think, and you only save about a hundred bucks, so I don't think that's the wise move to make, I think it's probably, it's best to go with sell economy air, you know, and you'd have it in a few weeks, um, is that all the way down here it's got a lot of weight in it it's it's 18 kilos i think from there yeah 18 kilos but once i once i pack it all uh what's that ebay takes 10 percent of freights uh you're probably looking at about i think it's roughly 250 bucks just off the top of my head for freight which is expensive um hang on Yeah, 
Yeah, you're probably looking about 250. I've got my, my uh, things I've written down. Hang on, I haven't included at all. Uh oh, I forgot to include. I forgot to mention. No, that, see, that's going, those both are going with it. So, I think that's going to end up being, uh, yeah, probably about, might be about 260 something on those lines for uh, Selic on the Air. Um, what I'm going to do is keep, you'll get both of these for this bell. I want to keep this one, this striker with this bell, although I think it would complement this one beautifully, it deserves to be with its original bell. And that's that. That's just the right thing to do. Okay, that's that. Uh, all right. Oh, right. Uh, let me have a look at something else. Oh, I'm going to list this very soon. Um, this one here is uh, some. This this is good. <laughs> Ooh. I'll get to that in a minute. That's right. I'm going to get to that. A friend of mine uh, translated the kanji. And that's you, that's got a good story to it. Now, this up here, I will list this. I bought that at the same auction. I bought that and that. Uh, my friend held on to this. My plan was to carry this, that, and this uh, all all together, and that <laughs> didn't work out. So I just carried that. I carried that for kilometres. And I got this old deer up here, and this is really rusty and old and rustic and just cool. I'd love to see that. Check this out. I'd love to see that in like a karate dojo or something like that. Well, I would say that the string, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> original string that went with it, it might be fair to say that it hasn't been struck for a while. <laughs> Didn't, uh, didn't, uh, I told you it was old. <laughs> well, let me try that again. Uh, I think what I might have to do, I know what I have to do. This bell had some old rope on it. I hope that vase down there didn't die. But whatever happens, happens. So, had some old rope and it did have some wiring around and I tossed that wiring in here because it's non burnables oh yes this is called repurposing right I'm gonna do something with right see now, I don't know if everything happens for a reason I don't know that, but repurposing. Thank you. Right, good work. Okay, I'm going to have to work on this right now. Make that happen. Right. Okay. Well, know what I have to do now. Uh, I'll sort that out, and then I'm going to list that. And this. And I'll talk about this awesome Ikebana teacher thing and right and get on to that and right.